Hello everyone, this is Mike Thomas from the Rundle Camera Club. It's Saturday night. Uh, if you're like me, you've been stuck at home uh, practicing a little uh, uh, healthy social distancing from the coronavirus. Um, but if you're also like me, you're getting bored already, you've run out of chores, and you really don't like being stuck in your house. So I thought I'd toss out a uh, challenge to the club. Uh, and that, that challenge is the self-portrait challenge. So uh, there's only three people in my house, uh, me, my wife, and kid. They're tired of me taking their picture, so that only leaves me uh, and doing self-portraits. Um, so that's going to be the challenge that I'm going to toss out. Uh, but let's talk about self-portraits a little bit. First of all, selfies are not self-portraits, or at least they're not the kind I'm talking about. Selfies, this is a selfie. It's a great memory. I'm glad we have the picture, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an actual portrait of yourself. Um, as opposed to a grab shot at, at a park like this one. Uh, also not talking about anything uh, in front of a mirror with your cell phone. Uh, that is not what I'm talking about. Um, so let's, uh, let's talk about it. So why do a self-portrait? So uh, one good reason to do a self-portrait is uh, if you look to me to a picture for a resume or a gallery opening, you need a headshot. So here's a couple examples of headshots I've done. Uh, over the years, uh, one on the right is fairly recent. Um, just, you know, you need a, a good quality picture and you don't want to pay someone for it. Uh, it doesn't have to be really professional, I just needed a good headshot to uh, put on my resume and, and things like that. Um, so, set up my tripod, set up my camera, set up my lights, and, uh, and uh, uh, stood in front of the camera and took picture after picture until I got one that I liked. Um, so that's how I, how I did these. Um, you know, it's great practice. Um, everyone should have a good, uh, good headshot. Um, now let's have some fun. Um, when it comes to photographing uh, men, to me there are only really three classes of good photos, interesting photos of men. The first are those really good looking guys with the six packs and things like that. That's not me. Um, the second are those uh, really old gentlemen who, who've got all the, the lines and wrinkles on their face and you can see the experience and the age and the wisdom. Not me yet, at least I hope not. Uh, and then the third, men with beards. Uh, you look on the internet at good pictures and pictures of men that catch your attention. A lot of them have beards. Uh, unless they're a friend or a relative, the interesting ones have beards. So I grew out my beard, um, and so here, just first taking some selfies last year, so here's some of the results from that. So here's the first one. What am I doing? It's just like uh, dress up. You know, I, I, I change my hat, and the one on the left, I put on sunglasses and a bandana. It's kind of a biker look. The one on the right, I put on a Greek fisherman cap. Um, you know, so those are uh, both uh, different effects. Would not the normal view you'd see of me. Um, in the next one, different hat, a little more mysterious. Again, I don't like having my picture taken. So this one, I don't. You don't even see my eyes. I added the pipe. I added the smoke. The smoke's real. It was taken in camera. That was part of the challenge. I did not. Uh, Photoshop that smoke into the picture. Uh, here's a fun one. This is my grumpy Santa photo. Again, change the hat, change the shirt, pipe, smoke, just going for a different effect. Um, none of the ones where I was smiling came out. That's why I don't have, <laughs> don't have one, because uh, I just stop taking picture after picture until I get one I like. And the challenge here is also getting the smoke. Uh, so now let's have some real fun. Let's uh, liven it up. Um, here's one. The same sunglasses are back, but in this case I took two mirrors and I held them in my hands until I got them at just the right angle to reflect my picture back into the, the sunglasses. So this was all done in camera, not Photoshop. Uh, just a little fun. Uh, did that for one of our contests last year. Here's one where I took a picture of a glass jar with black cloth in it. And then I took three double exposures of myself 
uh, with that glass yard. And then I put those three photos together in Photoshop, just having fun. Uh, this gets a lot of laughs. Uh, here's one I did for the Bowie Crofton Camera Club where I uh, uh, photoshopped myself beating myself at uh, chess. Not hard to do because I suck at chess. Um, the trick here is just to make sure that my left image doesn't overlap with my right image. And then it's a pretty, and everything's done on tripod. So it's, then it's a pretty uh, simple uh, uh, job in Photoshop to put these two together. And then y'all saw this one last month in our uh, death theme contest. This is just two pictures. Took the left half of one, the right half of the other, and photoshopped them in together, aligning them and, and stuff. Uh, so you can have a lot of fun with this. So, so here's my challenge to you. Go out and shoot a self-portrait and upload it to our Facebook page. Let's have some fun. And stay safe and stay healthy.